China is definitely a very aggressive actor in terms of economic espionage, and we see it uh, take place in a wide variety of ways. But one that we have uh, long been concerned about is the potential introduction of vulnerabilities in the supply chain. And I think it is something that folks have to take very seriously. I thought that there were government contractors, Suzanne, that often went through and actually took apart, uh, let's say, servers and actually looked for any potential um, chips or, or things that were not meant to be in there before they actually got deployed into places like the Department of Defense or, or the Pentagon. Does that happen still? Uh, it's really important. We've known that for quite some time to mm -hmm. have as much visibility as you can into what uh, components are going into the equipment that you're putting into your IT network and it's certainly something that the federal government has been doing and and the private sector as well it's it's critically important that you uh, recognize that your immediate uh, supplier may not be the one who is responsible for all the components that uh, that go into that piece of equipment for example that you may be buying so transparency as as best you can into uh, who's supplying all of the components uh, is critically important uh, and and making sure that you do do due diligence to ensure that the cybersecurity of any company you may be acquiring or connecting your network to uh, that they also have a appropriate cybersecurity. So Dave, how would the bad guys uh, have known that this particular server into which I am putting this malicious chip right. was going to that customer in the yeah. United States, whether it was a government customer or Amazon Web Services or Apple, how would the, or did they just put them in all of the servers that they were distributing and then just sucking up all the information. Sure. So in this case, we're talking about a piece of technology, a motherboard for servers that are used in data centers that are mass produced, right? So in this case, essentially, it's the gold mine. I think Suzanne made some really good points. You need to do due diligence on your, your uh, suppliers, but it's also the supplier suppliers and the suppliers who are supplying the supply, supplier suppliers. Uh, you got to go all the way down that food chain. I think these supply chain attacks are both the most coveted targets, but also the hardest targets for nation states uh, to affect. And that's for a couple of reasons. First of all, they're coveted because if you can gain persistent access very early on in the supply chain, that is during the early stages of the manufacturing process, you can essentially have keys to the kingdom. It's not like a software uh, product where you can just put out an update and everything will be fine. You would have to actually recall this equipment uh, and, and reinstall it, which in many cases can be cost prohibited. Uh, but it's also very hard to do. I want to emphasize this point. These are very strategic targets for foreign intelligence services. Uh, they invest years in these types so of So the accesses. bad guys would have known which servers into which to put these malicious chips, or they would have put them into all the servers that they were supplying, well, they, these big data systems. So in this case, the, the, uh, the firm and the suppliers that, that are of interest had a very high share of the market, right? So they were manufacturing these motherboards that for, were for big, big companies, companies like Amazon, right? Like so Amazon and Apple, and we should note that those that Amazon and Apple have emphatically uh, denied these reports, which is very interesting because the reporting is also very detailed. But up to 30 American companies um, were likely using this type of I equipment see. in their data centers. Suzanne, at this point, you're the U.S. government. You find out this happens. You're Amazon, you're Apple, whoever it may be who's affected. What do you do, and how do you look at your other servers that you're still using that are in use? Well, so clearly you pulled the thread. Uh, for example, what other companies uh, were being supplied by uh, a given factory, and I'm not addressing the reliability of the facts and the reporting, as Dave noted there, uh, the companies are denying the reports. But, uh, but hypothetically speaking, you would pull the thread and see where else. But the reality is that uh, these kinds of vulnerabilities could be introduced from so many sources in so many different places. It's incredibly difficult uh, to uh, have 100% certainty about the security of your supply chain. And frankly, that makes it all the more important to make sure that you're able then to detect whatever activity that vulnerability may be enabling, right? So make sure that you can detect all the devices that are on your networks, whether it's your IT network your, or your operating technology or your wireless network, and then make sure that you can detect anomalies. If, if data is suddenly flowing in a direction it shouldn't be flowing, it should only be coming in, not going out, or vice versa. 
uh, uh, doing things that it's that are unusual. Make sure that you can detect those because it, detecting vulnerabilities that may be introduced to your supply chain is extremely hard, and you need to make sure you've got backup plans. And ultimately, you should assume you're going to be breached, and you should make sure that you have a plan in place to either operate in a degraded fashion or otherwise reduce the consequences of a successful cyber yeah, attack. You've often we've often heard the, the saying, uh, Dave, that there are companies that. Uh, uh, have been hacked in companies that will be. This is a kind of, I, I can anticipate your answer here. As between this kind of incursion, mm -hmm. putting a, a malicious chip into a motherboard, yeah. and, and a software hack, which is more common and which is more dangerous? So the latter is definitely more common, the former is more dangerous, right? In this case, uh, you have reportedly or allegedly uh, the Chinese targeting an IT piece of hardware, right? A motherboard that sits on a server that resides in a data center. Um, the goal, apparently, was espionage, corporate espionage, getting government secrets. Uh, the other side of the, the equation is actually uh, attacks that could intend to create some sort of physical effect uh, or sabotage. And that deals with not IT equipment, but what we call operational technology or OT equipment, the industrial control systems that automate our factories, our power plants. Uh, mm -hmm. and the like. So in that case, those are the most potentially dangering, uh, dangerous uh, uh, threats because they put people's lives at, at, uh, at risk. I can tell you... The grid you, goes down, you got a problem. Ab exactly. Yeah. I can tell you, having dealt directly with many of these companies, that supply chain risk management is not a new phenomenon for them. They're working very hard at this. Um, again, nation states are always going to have one leg up on, on these manufacturers. Um, but there is a lot of great work being done uh, in this industry to, to mitigate note. the risk.